All right, traders, uh, this is Christian from Hertz Tribeca Trade Group, and today is Wednesday, April 24th, Monster Earnings Day today. And I'll tell you, most of the names that reported uh, look pretty damn good. Um, there's a couple ones that uh, are down a little bit, but keep in mind, some of these names, I mean, I did not play very many names for earnings because some of these names just ran a little bit too much. But, uh, you know, I think one of the most important ones, uh, Microsoft, it is the, it keeps going back and forth with Apple for the largest company in the S&P. But, you know, you're talking about a name that has an, had coming into earnings was what, in a... Well, this is not computing, but I think about an eight, a 76 RSI, so really overbought. And I'll tell you, they crushed their numbers. Um, Microsoft, let's see if this will come up. I'm having some problems with uh, Bloomberg. It's not updating for whatever reason. Uh, but their numbers were really strong. It'd be interesting to see what they say on their earnings call. But all around numbers, you could see productivity. Every one of these numbers looks like they beat pretty decently personal computing revenue up cloud revenue up just really sounds like they crushed it um, and again you know looking at their business segments they cater to businesses uh, I think that this and service now which their guidance was a little bit um, I don't want to say weak but came in right in line with expectations I think their earnings call uh, it kicks off very shortly, but they crushed it their last quarter. You know, maybe they're lowballing their numbers a little bit, but their current quarter was very strong for ServiceNow, which again is one of the, I think Kramer likes to call them cloud kings. Um, this is one of the better names in the group, in my opinion. But 789 versus 767, 67 versus 54. The reason why it's not up more, it's a high price stock at this point. And their guidance, which again, I don't, for whatever reason, I don't have any numbers past 1615, but um, where their future guidance was right in line with expectations. And for a name that's that high, um, geez, look at Facebook go, guys. You know, this was something that we talked about in the trading room. I did not play Facebook. Uh, I mentioned how I was tempted to play it because of this virgin point of control up here sitting at up here at 191. And it looks like we're going to take that out. So again, the version point of control is very, very good. Um, Lamb Research, another tech name. We'll just go through a bunch of names and then we'll. this will be a short video for today. But I just wanted to give a quick update. Lamb Research, strong numbers as well. I'm not going to go over their numbers. Xilinx, um, I did buy some shares after hours. Why did I buy some shares after hours? I thought their numbers were good. But just another one of those names that ran too much at the earnings. Um, it looks like on the one hour, they took out two version point of controls. There's another one down here, but it's far. Um, I'm expecting a reversion back to like 130, 131. Um, that's where I would probably sell. I bought up 125 um, right at that version point of control. I set my, uh, set my um, uh, what do you call it? My limit order right there. PayPal. I'm surprised PayPal's is where it is. Yeah, it's down a little bit. PayPal's numbers were not great, but it's it's a cult stock, and people just like to buy weakness in the stock. I think they really believe in it as a disruptor. So regardless of their numbers, their numbers were not great. Uh, let's see, 68 versus actually first quarter was uh, the EPS was fine. 78 versus 68 revenues came in a little bit light. I think that's what I saw. That's their guidance. Their revenues, first quarter revenues matched. Their guidance is a little bit lower in terms of revenues. And their EPS is higher. So they are expecting to make more money. New active, new active accounts up 15%. Um, staying in the space, Visa also had good numbers. But again, both, both companies. You know, this is why I did not trade many names for earnings. I just thought it's better to kind of watch and maybe, maybe be able to get some of these quality names cheaper. But, I mean, look at this stuff. I mean, these names have just been absolutely on fire. Same thing, I'll jump over to CMG. I mean, CMG has been on such a run. Their numbers were great as well. But stock not doing anything after hours because uh, I wanted to sell premium. I just didn't have the guts to do it. <laughs> I wanted to sell a call spread, uh, but I, I just I couldn't do it. Um, I just don't want to fade these names that are that strong. So there's a couple other names, but we'll kind of leave it there for, for the for the video. You know, my market thoughts, uh, you know, just on the recent move. 
uh, you know, what we're seeing from earnings, it's really difficult to get bearish. If you want to position lighter, which is kind of what I'm doing, I did very little trading today. I actually added uh, TLT, you know, a little bit of bonds, long bonds, um, you know, a couple trades like that, but just kind of trading around the edges a little bit and just waiting for some of this information, more information to come out. I think tomorrow, you know, it's nice to see Amazon down a little bit. Maybe it gives a little bit of an opportunity, even though it's trading up in the after hours on some of the results. But um, yeah, I think this could set up for an earnings trade. So we're going to construct that tomorrow. Um, we went through in the room, which I, I will repost in the room, you know, in case you're not a member, these are the things we went through. Uh, dollar hedging, right? If you're not, if you're trading earnings with just straight options, calls or puts, and you're not hedging yourself after hours, you kind of have to, and I don't mean this in a bad way, but you have to ask yourself what you're doing. Um, you should be, you should know how to dollar hedge, delta hedge, excuse me, uh, by selling calls or selling stock versus your outright calls. If you don't know this principle, in my opinion, you, should, you probably shouldn't be trading options because <laughs> you can't, if you don't, you need, you need to know how to hedge yourself in the after hours market, regardless of its earnings or some other event. So very important. We went over that for about 20 minutes, uh, and I have the write-up on that. Um, but again, not a, this is what we go over as being a Tribeca Trade Group member. Um, just final thought is on this Microsoft and ServiceNow. I think this is very good for the software company. So, you know, we've seen this now the last couple of weeks. These names dip a little bit, and um, just buyers come right back into these groups so a lot of these names like Okta are breaking out so you know it continues to be a very very hot area and I think now that number more numbers are coming out in the group you know they're backing up the price action all right guys so that's it for today's video like I said short video short and sweet have a great night see you tomorrow we'll, we will be constructing an Amazon trade for earnings we'll go over that tomorrow's uh, uh, tomorrow's session during the day have a great uh, night everybody see you tomorrow